Twelve years have passed since the Space Shuttle era came to a sudden close, with Atlantis rolling to a stop on the runway at Kennedy Spaceport on July 21, 2011. In the 30 years since the first launch on April 12, 1981, the Space Shuttle fleet has undertaken a variety of missions. It transported components for the assembly of the International Space Station, launched satellites, retrieved satellites, and serviced devices like the Hubble Space Telescope. Altogether, the program completed 135 missions. What began in 1981 as a groundbreaking chapter in space exploration concluded around a decade ago, with Atlantis touching down for the last time on that historic day in July. Ever wondered about NASA's iconic space shuttles? There were a total of six, Enterprise, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavour. These incredible vehicles paved the way for space exploration. But what happened to each one? Join us as we explore the journey and fate of NASA's space shuttles in this fascinating episode on Beyond the Gravity, a channel dedicated to discovering more about space, our final frontier. Three, two, one, and we have liftoff. The Space Shuttle, a crucial part of the American space program, operated from 1981 to 2011. Consisting of orbiters like Challenger, Atlantis, Columbia, and Discovery, it transported astronauts and cargo to low Earth orbit. Originating in the 1960s, the shuttles engaged in diverse missions, from deploying satellites to servicing the space station and collaborating with the Russian space program. Despite its significance, the program faced a setback with the Columbia disaster in 2003, leading to its termination in 2011. While initially celebrated as a key means of space travel, the Space Shuttle program's usefulness became a subject of debate. Was it a practical tool for future space exploration, or merely a political maneuver for presidents over the decades? As the program has become a footnote in space history, its legacy prompted us to reflect on its magnificent impact and the ongoing pursuit of new frontiers in space ex Advancing deliveries, space shuttles conducted vital scientific experiments and played a key role in maintaining the Hubble Space Telescope. Despite high design costs, the emphasis on reusable technology sparked it ease for cost reduction in getting to and from orbit. This concept later saw remarkable progress with SpaceX. The final chapter of the shuttle era unfolded with Atlantis' last flight from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, marking its end in July 2011. With its achievements and challenges, the shuttle program left an enduring legacy that paved the way for advancements in space exploration. The shuttle's limited payload capacity and lower-than-planned frequency of launches further strained its practicality and caused a magnitude of questions to be raised about its viability. However, amidst criticism, the program contributed groundbreaking technology with applications beyond space exploration. It served as an inspiration, symbolizing hope and adventure, and making the vast expanse of space and the solar system feel within reach. Despite its flaws, the Space Shuttle program left a lasting impact on technology and captured the imagination of those who dream of exploring the vast unknown of space. The last shuttle launch happened in 2011, and now, the remnants of the program rest in museums and historical sites. What became of the space shuttles? Today, they no longer soar into space. Instead, they serve as exhibits, showcasing their role in human space exploration. These retired shuttles stand as testaments to a bygone era, educating and inspiring visitors about the incredible journey that they once undertook. The Space Shuttles Space Shuttle Enterprise. Status, retired. Enterprise, the initial shuttle, was crafted for test flights, not orbital journeys. 
Lacking essential elements like heat shielding and main engines, it mainly focused on landing and approach tests. Its chassis, made from different materials, was targeted for later refitting but faced setbacks each time this was scheduled. A specially equipped Boeing 747 carried Enterprise for its launches. While it never ventured into space, this shuttle played a vital role in shaping the path for subsequent orbiters. Atlantis, status, retired. Atlantis, one of the two original orbital space shuttles still around, holds a special place in the hearts and minds of everyone involved in developing the space shuttle program. It took its first flight in 1985 and wrapped up its operational missions just before the program ended in 2011. Over its active years, Atlantis completed 33 missions, circling the Earth 4,848 times. Its enduring presence symbolizes the remarkable history of space exploration. Challenger. Status. Destroyed. Challenger, the second shuttle to orbit in 1983, started as a test vehicle but was later adapted for space flights. In its operational years, it completed nine missions. Unfortunately, tragedy struck during its televised 10th mission in 1986. Shortly after launch, Challenger exploded, leading to the heartbreaking loss of all seven astronauts on board and bringing to the attention of the world the true dangers of space travel. Columbia. Status destroyed. Columbia, the first orbital shuttle, initially didn't lead the space shuttle program until Challenger left the fleet. Unlike others, it kept some test features, like ejector seats, in 2003, tragedy struck when debris damaged Columbia during launch. A heat shield issue on a wing emerged during re-entry over Texas, leading to the tragic loss of all lives on board. Discovery, status, retired. Discovery was the third orbital shuttle to be sent into space, with its first operational flight in 1984. It is most notable for carrying the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit, it was the shuttle that completed the most missions, 39 in total. Endeavour. Status. Retired. Endeavour was the fifth and final shuttle to be built for orbital flight missions. It was built in 1991 to replace the Challenger shuttle. Originally, the test shuttle Enterprise was planned to be refitted, but the decision was made to build a new one out of spare parts as the cheaper option. Thus, Endeavour was put together from spare parts and on a constrained budget. It flew 27 missions in total before retiring in June 2011. Nowadays, four space shuttles have found new homes in various visitor centres and museums across the continental United States. Space Shuttle Atlantis resides at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Merritt Island, Florida. Discovery has a place of honour at the National Air and Space Museum the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Fairfax County, Virginia. Endeavor is on display at the California Science Center in Los Angeles, California. Lastly, the Space Shuttle Enterprise has settled at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum in New York City, New York. These locations allow people to marvel at the historic achievements of the Space Shuttle program. As we wrap up our journey through the NASA Space Shuttle program, Reflecting on its triumphs and challenges, one question lingers. What legacy did these iconic shuttles leave behind? Join us in the comments below to share your thoughts on the impact of the space shuttles and what you believe the future holds for space exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to Beyond the Gravity for more of our awesome content and learn more about space by hitting that notification bell to stay in the loop.